Welcome back to the show, O'Shea Jackson Jr., who uh, last we checked was not suspended from Twitter. No. Right, O'Shea? Oh, but I'm, I'm trying, Rich. I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, sir. Congratulations. You must be so through the roof. Congrats. Yeah, man. I, I, I'm feeling good. I got a little bit of a toothache, though, because I've been brushing my teeth with champagne for the last three days. <laughs> You know, it's uh, it's having some bad after effects, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm feeling like uh, I'm feeling right. You know, I'm feeling right. Okay, so we learned that Vuv Clico has no fluoride in it, so we <laughs> we figured that out. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we learned that, um, and then we learned that uh, you 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 doused yourself before you put the goggles on. Are you okay? Did you get any in your eyes with the making of that video? Oh, it burns, it burns aggressively. I uh. You know, they're, they're, it, when, when you're victorious, though, you feel no pain. But it's, it's definitely a, a stinging sensation in the eyes. Right. But, it's, you know, it's great. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever posted online. So uh, you've been adding uh, a lot of people in the media, mm -hmm. O'Shea. You've been adding a, yeah. a lot of people. What's up with that? I just – let me tell you something about Laker fans, Rich. Yep. We are by far – the most annoying fan base that you could ever find. And we're sensitive. And we, uh, you know, I, I promised Laker fans that if we won it all, yes. that I would be the tax man. And <laughs> when you have to pay the tax man, you have to bring the receipts. And I'm going to make sure that everyone who chose that other team, the Clippers, or, you know, Heat in seven, or Blazers in six, any, any of those, I want an apology. I just want an apology. That's all we want. I just want to hear them tell me they were wrong. And they're lucky that we're in a pandemic, or I would be on their shows visibly, <laughs> full-on Maury Povich style. Like uh, my man Brian Windhorst. He told me yep. that the Clippers were a better put-together team and that the Lakers would be a work in progress, and the finals results showed that was a lie. I don't have time for these shenanigans, and I want my apologies, and I will get them rich. So this is a media <laughs> audit, is what you're saying. This is an audit, O'Shea. Oh, oh yeah, I'm going. Uh, wait, as a matter of fact, is my man Chris there? He is there. Chris? Hey, He's right. O'Shea, what's happening, man? <laughs> what's up, dude? Um, so you remember back when I was promoting Godzilla King of the Monsters, uh -huh, and uh -huh. I believe your quote was, the delusional Laker fan is the best Laker fan. And then you said that the Celtics were four minutes away from the finals. Do you remember that? I do. They were. I was at the game. They were four minutes from the finals. That's correct. Okay, Chris, how many minutes from the finals are they now? <laughs> <laughs> well, let's see. If we, if we backlog the six games and then the seventh against... Miami, yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. man. Look, man. I just remembered you the most. <laughs> I, get, I, get, I, get, I get what you do, Rich. I get, you know, I get yeah. you poke at me, you Jamal Murray, blah, blah, blah. Yep. But you're a Celtic, Chris. I know. You were the first person I thought of, yeah. man. I just want you to know. You. Wow. And look, and, and look I, 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 I appreciate you admitting that Laker fans are the most annoying, and uh, I think you're just proving my point that, like, you know, delusional, intense – annoying Laker fan is the best Laker fan. Look, it wouldn't be a rivalry if the Boston teams won all the time. So it's oh, nice to have you guys back. Man. <laughs> I love the enthusiasm, bro. Uh, you know, I really wish, I really was hoping that LeBron would get his first title against the Celtics, but you know how disappointing they can be. So I, I, I'm just glad that he got it done. The storybook ending for Kobe was the most important thing to me. I, I expressed that to you guys so much. I wanted this so bad for Kobe because it, it just couldn't be any other team for it to be the season that we lost him and and to end it this way. It uh, it's not. It's, it's probably my second favorite championship I've ever been a part of. All right, uh, I'll bite. What's the first? <laughs> Oh, for sure, Kobe beating Boston. What are you talking about? <laughs> Remember that last time the Celtics were in the finals and they lost to the Lakers? Yeah, that was my favorite yeah. time for sure. Oh, <laughs> baby. Wow. So how many? How yeah. many are you thinking now? All right, because as you know, greed is good. Greed is good. One of the best lines in movie history. Uh, greed, for the lack of a better phrase, is good. And sports is all about being greedy. 
How many you think you're getting? How many you think this is the beginning of? Let's be honest. Go for it. Uh, for sure, I know. I know personally. Yes. Uh, I want. I want two more at least out of Bron. You know, I, I know that uh, it's the seventeenth year. I know that the Lakers usually when you win the championship, Rich. I've, I've you know the Lakers have won a lot of these. When you win the championship, oh boy, uh, a lot of the free agents out there on the market it kind of adds to your team. So I'm expecting this Lakers team to be even better. Well, they, they then, they've got to they've got to be from clutch sports though, O'Shea. It can't be just from anybody, right? Listen, Rich Paul will get it done. <laughs> I, I I just don't. No, no, he's not, not the general manager. No, no, no. It's it's Palenka who's the general manager. Oh, yeah, shit. All, all, listen, once once we get Rich Paul to sign him to Clutch, Rob, you know, once you get the live, <laughs> Rob Palenka will throw that thing in. <laughs> it's, it, it's a really good deal that we got going. But I want two more. Two more, I feel like. Uh, okay. I'll build the statue myself, Rich. Like, if I, if I get two more, plus it'll put Bron uh, at – wait, if I get two more, yeah, he'll put him at six. And um, you know, then he he wants to be he wants that goat he wants that goat without you know without any questioning, and of course like I'm a Laker so I, I'm I'm expecting superstars to come here and join, and uh, yeah life is good right now they they told me that I wouldn't win it this year and I'd have a better chance next year, and so with me winning and having a better chance next year I'm expecting more parade. So do you get a ring? You gonna get a ring? <laughs> Obviously, bro. I got to get a ring, bro. Will you have your own float in the parade? Yeah, when, when we get back to parading. <laughs> that would be great. You should. Oh, oh, th- listen, don't don't hype me up, guys. You already know where I'm going to go with this. And to everybody, hold on, one more thing. To everyone who has something to say, oh, the Lakers had to wait 10 years. 10 years is so long. I'm sorry I'm not a Phoenix Sun. I'm sorry I'm not a Memphis Grizzly wow. or a Charlotte Hornet or any of these other teams. Ten years is a lifetime for a Laker. So get mad, get glad, get heavyweight trash bag. I'm sorry. You don't really sound sorry, I'll be honest with you. I don't I don't hear any any sorry in that. I think you're just uh, you're look, you're you're we're all just paying rent. You know, it's interesting because we, O'Shea Jackson Jr., a few more minutes left with uh, with O'Shea here on the Rich Eisen Show. We, we, we pulled a piece of video from a chat that I had with Kobe in 2018 just after LeBron got here where I said to him, you know, what, what does LeBron need to do in order to achieve, you know, your status here in Los Angeles? I'm paraphrasing the question, but that's basically the gist of it. And Kobe's response was essentially in the most kind way possible to not stir anything up. Oh, you got this exchange here? Just listen to this exchange. This is great. What do you think um, he needs to accomplish here in order to be viewed in a similar vein as, say, you as a Laker, Kobe? Well, I don't know. The making the comparisons of <clears throat> him being viewed in a similar vein as me, I mean, that doesn't make much sense, right? I mean, I, you know. I think the goal is always to win championships. No matter where you go, that's the goal. And that's his goal. That's Rob's goal. That's Magic's goal. That's Genie's goal. Rondo, all the guys. So he he needs to win a championship here in LA? Why do people, do why do people always say that? They say, okay, well, you need to win. And then, then there's this, this like crowd of people that are like, well, you don't need to win a championship. Well, you're asking me, you have to win championships. This is why we play. This is why we're here is to mm-hmm. win championships. And, you know, he wouldn't have came here if he... He didn't expect to win championships. What'd you think of that? That's just dynamite, all of it. Where he's just like, "Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's fair comparison for him to me here." <laughs> and then he says, <laughs> "When he, I say, does he need to win?" He goes, "Why do people say that?" And then he basically says, "It's not need, it's expect." I just loved every aspect <laughs> of that. I loved all of it. Just he, revisiting it. He was basically Rick James on Eddie Murphy's couch. Like, <laughs> no, I didn't put my foot on Eddie's. Of course, I put. I loved all of it. Yeah, but he's right. He's absolutely right. You know, LeBron's tenure here, like 20 years, 20 years is not going to be touched. It's not going to be in the same light as Kobe. What Kobe did for Laker fans around the world, and especially in Los Angeles, is touch our spirit in a way that just cannot be duplicated. And he he, he put a a level of, of, of pride in us, in our everyday jobs, no matter what we do. 
we try to give that Mamba mentality. So that that will never be touched. But as far as being a Laker great, it is about winning championships. I don't care how great Wilt was. If he didn't win a ring here, he's not going to be hanging up there with the rest of them. And now LeBron has his ring. Uh, I put him up there. If you give me two more, you know, we like, you're a Laker great. You're a Laker great. Um, I'm very appreciative. All, all the fans that even still have something to say about LeBron James, they just don't know what's in front of them. And if you spend all your time hating, you won't be able to be appreciating. And I'm so appreciative of, of LeBron, his, his mindset. Rajon Rondo. Rajon Rondo gave the Celtics their 17th and the Lakers their 17th. That's my favorite part of the rivalry for sure. This whole team, like, it's, it's, it's something that, that Lakers fans, no matter how you feel about Kobe, about Braun, you better take the time and, and smell your flowers. And I'm going to make sure that the media gives our respect <laughs> because they get to hear me until tip-off of next season. They're so lucky, Rich. They get to hear my voice for so long. <laughs> the media auditor. <laughs> <laughs> the tax man, the tax O'Shea man. Jackson Jackson. Thanks for joining us, Love O'Shea. It. I always Love enjoy it. the chats. Congrats. Of course, man. Go Lakers and Clippers. I told you so. Okay, there you go. <laughs> Leave me out it, of this. That's called a mic drop. <laughs> O'Shea Jackson hey, Jr., everybody. <laughs> that's great.